Today in our 2014 Honda Odyssey, we'll be installing the Durali Series 8000 Plate Fin Transmission Cooler Kit, part number D13502. Now to begin our install, we'll first go ahead and open up the hood. We'll need to remove the top engine cover, goes between the grill and the front core support. To do this, we'll remove the multiple push pin fasteners that secure the plastic cover and air intake. Once we remove the push pin fasteners, we'll go ahead and pull the intake out and set it and the cover aside. Next, we'll remove the two fasteners here at the top that secure the grill to the core support. Now with that done, we'll move to the wheel wells. To make it easier to remove the two screw fasteners inside the wheel well, we'll go ahead and turn the wheel inside while working on the driver's side and then inside while we're working on the passenger side. Now with those fasteners out of the way, we'll move underneath the vehicle. We'll remove multiple fasteners that secure the front fascia and lower rock guard. So both screw and push pin fasteners. Now with all the fasteners removed, we'll go ahead and pull the lower rock guard out and set it aside. It's a good idea to get next to the hands as we'll remove the front fascia. To remove the front fascia, we'll pull out on the corner of the fascia where it meets the wheel well, releasing the fasteners underneath. Once we do this to both sides, we can then go ahead and pull the fascia off the front of the vehicle and set it aside for reinstallation later. Next, we'll remove the front bumper. There are a total of six fasteners that secure it, three on each side. Once we remove these fasteners, we can go ahead and set the bumper aside for reinstallation later. Next, to give us some working room, I'm gonna remove the AC condenser mounting brackets here at the top of the core support. Once we remove the two fasteners, we can go ahead and remove the two brackets and we'll set them aside. Next, we'll remove the two hold down fasteners for the power steering line cooler. Once we remove them, we can go ahead and pull the power steering line down and out of the way. Next, before we attempt to install the cooler and lines, we'll need to cut out a section of the air guard here next to the AC condenser and radiator on the driver's side. We'll go ahead and mark it with a paint marker, then use a rotary tool to cut out the section so that we can run our cooler lines to the transmission. Now with that section cut out, we'll go ahead and start preparing to mount our transmission cooler. Before we mount the cooler, we'll go ahead and install the cooler hoses. Now to put the hose onto the cooler, we can use a little bit of the transmission fluid as lubricant. So we'll go ahead and put some onto the end of the transmission cooler barb fitting. Then we'll go ahead and slide the hose on. Once we have both hoses on, we'll then take the clamps, slide on the open end of the hose and tighten them down. Now for this application, we're gonna be adding some additional hose to make it all the way around to the transmission lines. We'll be using part number D13003, 11 30 seconds hose and approximately two feet. Now with both hoses secured to the cooler, we'll go ahead and start mounting the cooler to the AC condenser. To mount the cooler, we'll be using the rod and clip fasteners provided with the install kit. The rod will go through the transmission cooler, through a foam spacer pad, and then through the AC condenser where we'll secure it with a clip on the back side. Let's go ahead and install the lower two first. Once we have the rods installed into the cooler, we'll go ahead and install the foam pads. Now we can go ahead and put the cooler against the condenser and push the rods all the way through the condenser and secure them with the clip. Now with the lower two fasteners securing the cooler, we'll go ahead and install the top two fasteners, repeating the same process. Now with all four fasteners securing the cooler to the condenser, we'll go ahead and cut off the excess rod that came through the clip. Next, we're ready to go ahead and start routing the transmission cooler hose to the transmission lines. Next, we'll need to check and locate the return side on the manufacturer's lines. This line here will be our, the return side that we'll connect to. So we'll go ahead and take one of the transmission cooler lines and route it to this area, mark the length, and cut off any excess. Then we'll go ahead and remove the manufacturer's clip on the hose and pull the hose off of the steel line. Now that we've got it cut to length, we'll go ahead and install the hose clamp onto the new hose and just tighten it down to keep it out of the way. Now with one side done, we're ready to go ahead and move to the second hose connection point. For this application, it'll be at the top of the baffle, so we'll go ahead and first remove the squeeze clamp holding the hose in place. 
Now, to get a little extra working room, we can go ahead and loosen the bracket here and rotate it out of the way. We'll remove the two fasteners that go into the bottom of the core support. The third fastener, we do not want to completely remove it as it secures the subframe of the vehicle. We'll simply loosen it up enough that we can rotate the bracket out of the way. Now with our bracket out of the way, we'll make it easier to get our hand up onto the manufacturer's hose and remove it from the line. With the manufacturer's hose now out of the way, we'll go ahead and route the new hose into position and cut to length. Then we'll install the hose clamp onto the hose and slide the new hose onto the baffle. Once we have the hose in position, we'll go ahead and tighten down the hose clamp to secure it. Now with all the new transmission cooler hoses in place and installed, it's a good time to check for any leaks. We're ready to go ahead and reassemble our vehicle. We'll go ahead and reinstall the subframe bracket and tighten it down. Then we can reinstall the power steering line and front bumper. We're ready for reassembly. Now with everything reinstalled and secured, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of our Durali Series 8000 Plate Fin Transmission Cooler Kit, part number D13502, in conjunction with the Durali High Temp Hose, part number D13003, on our 2014 Honda Odyssey.